Hello dear Swissies, we have 32 degrees again in Switzerland in the canton of Wallis so that means it is time to go up again we are at the Olic Arena and we go up to Fieschel Alp Locals and regulars call the cozy Fieschel Alp Kühboden the car-free place owes its nickname to the cows of the Fiesch farmers who spend their summer here. But not only the cows enjoy the warm season at altitude. Guests also enjoy the breathtaking nature, tranquility, sunshine and high air quality during their summer vacations. You tank up on additionally energy at the power spot of the nearby viewpoint on the Eggishorn. In winter, Fiescher Alp is part of the ski area of the Olic Arena, together with Rieder Alp and Betmer Alp. And somehow, I have something wintry planned with you today. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I am still at Fiescher Alp. And soon I will meet my mountain guide called Kilian Volken. He is a real pro. He knows everything about mountains and glaciers and I'm looking very forward. Uh, I guess this is my mountain guide already. Are you Kilian? Yes, that's correct. My name is Kilian. Uh, pleasure to, to make the glacier tour today with you. And uh, I hope the weather will be okay and so we will enjoy the day. You look sympathetic. I'm looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice to hear this. <laughs> the 70 years old Valle mountain guide and Everest climber has already experienced a lot. With him, a very experienced mountain guide comes with me on the big Alec glacier. But until we are there, we must hike first about two hours. After hiking through the one kilometer long Telegrad tunnel, we reach the Marilandal, a wonderful place of power. A few years ago, you could still see the Alec glacier from here. Today, you can only see it from here with the help of a drone. After another 20 minutes, we reach this plateau. Here, Kilian tells us something about the Alec Glacier. So Kilian, tell me a little bit about what we see here. Yeah, Silvia, now we are here in the beautiful Merion Valley. Merion Valley with many small lakes there and the big glacier in front of us. And especially what we can see from here, it's a frontier from the glacier 1870. We can see up the grass, the flowers, and more down rocks and stones. And this was the highest level from the glacier after the last small ice time. And now the glacier goes down every year more and more. About in one year, four, between four and five meters down. So the difference between 1870 and now about 200 meters that the glacier is melting down. Does it make you sad? Macht dich das traurig? Very, very sad. Maybe we are, when we are later on the glacier, I, will, I can show you some uh, example. 60 years ago when I was the first time with my father, my brother on the glacier and at this time and now it is really, really sad and so I'm quite unhappy. Yeah, Silvia, now from here we can see a very big part of the beautiful Alec Gletscher. Still a little bit foggy, but in this direction is Jungfraujoch, top of Europe, and the beautiful mountain to your right hand side with the white summit is the Mönch, even a mountain over 4,000 meters. In front of the Mönch is the Trugberg. And then before the Trugberg, 
there is the Concordia Platz. And the Concordia Platz, there are coming four glaciers together. And that's the reason of the name Concordia. The last summer, the entry of this cow was just here on the ridge. And now it's melting down and down, incredible. What do you guess how many meters? 10? About between 10 and 12 meters. Crazy. In one year. I remember I, was, now, I was in there. Yeah. <laughs> and now we are going here on this, on the glacier. And you can see it's the last ice bridge when we are going over this bridge. Yeah. I hope for today is still enough. <laughs> but maybe in one week it's finished. Okay. And then what do you do? Maybe there or behind. Okay. So now we are over this bridge we have to go on the Alex Gletscher. I think for today will be strong enough, but maybe in two or three days it's over. How do you know it is good enough? Yeah, I can see the thickness and so. I am not low weight. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ice is very strong. Okay. Ice is like petto. No okay. Words. <laughs> it's okay. Are you sure it is safe? Yeah. Okay. You have to be careful here on the ice. Okay. Because last night it was raining and so the glacier is very, very slippery. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> but I see. in five meters we are taking on the grandpons. Okay. Then it's everything okay. Oh, so. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> the college stig is a, in English it is? Crampons. Crampons. And these are your crampons. Ah. We have a left and a right one. Okay. The back must be Shall outside. I go down or? No. Right foot, please. Jawohl. A little bit hefty here. And then I am on a rope, right? You are on a rope, yes. Okay, it's all safe. We are, <laughs> you and me, we are connecting. Okay, we are connected, super. We're connected. <laughs> With Kilian, every move is perfect. What would these crampons have to tell if they could talk? In any case, I'm glad that I am wearing them on my shoes. I am on a rope now. That can you stand, or? Yeah, yeah. When I fall, then Kili will, will hold me, hopefully. We have a nut. Kili and I, we are ready to go on the glacier. Also, we already are, but he will show me some beautiful places on the glacier, some interesting places, and he will talk about the glacier. Yeah, I'm looking forward. It's important that the rope is not just hanging on the ground, but it's a little bit strict. <laughs> Kilian, can everyone do this with you? Yes. But sometimes we change the road. We don't go uh, every time the same way. It depends on the clients. Are the clients really beginners or a little bit? Uh, uh, ängstliche. So we try to go an easy way. If you go up, take very small steps with the grandpons. Not too big steps, very small. It's easier to walk. And much more safe with small steps. Then you can put all the points in the ice. Otherwise, if you make big steps, it's not so easy to put all points in, in the ice. On the glacier, I completely lose the sense of time and space. I let my flying eye in the air to look at the glacier from above. It is unbelievable how small we seem on it. Now we can see quite a big part of this beautiful Glacier. And the Aletsch Gletscher, it's still the biggest and the longest and the widest gletscher in the Alps. The completely length of the gletscher is 21 and 800 meters long. 21 kilometers, 800 meters. And the wideness 
nearly two kilometers. And now the most exciting number is the ice deepness. Up on the Cordia place is still 850 meters. Our position when we are here, it's about 350 meters ice. And these are really, really a big, big number for this place. But we have still a fright or a sorge if it's a global temperature like now, the next 80 years, then we will not have any more glaciers until 2100, until the Concordia place. Also, if it's a global temperature, two degrees, no glacier, 2100. And maybe four degrees, we will not have any more glacier until Jungfraujoch. It's quite bad. I can remember 60 years ago when I was the first time here on this glacier, all these glaciers by side, the Wannehore glacier, Schönberg glacier, other side, the Dreierkorn glacier, all these glaciers were connected with the big Alec glacier. And now we can see just a little bit of the glacier. Also, it's still in the end of the all the glacier on the side. That's really, really sad. The Alec glacier is melting in one year between 40 and 50 meters smaller and the deepness between four and five meters still smelting and smelting. These are really bad and especially this summer it's the most baddest summer in my life for the glacier and the mountains. And I hope next winter we will get more snow than the last winter and a little bit colder in the summertime. The big reason was last winter we don't have a lot of snow and then very warm springtime and very hot summer and so the glacier is melting much more. Do you see this pyramid? You maybe think these are built from humans, but they are not. All the many sand pyramids here on the glacier, these are uh, natural protected for the glacier. In the early summertime, it's floating a little bit more water and the water is bringing sand down. And then there will be a sand bank. And the sand bank protected the sun from the ice, from the glacier. Around the sand bank is melting the glacier still ahead. Every day more and more. And under the sand, the ice is still there. And now if you go here with the poles, it's really ice under the sand. And so it's a natural pleasure protected. Yeah. Voilà. So, Kilian, we are now on our glacier sofa, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, well prepared. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good and uh, thick enough. <laughs> yeah. So maybe one thing about the two middle moraines. I don't know another glacier on this world with two so long and beautiful middle moraines, but we have these two moraines. We need two mountains, on your right hand side Trugberg, on the left side for this moraine the Kranzberg, and then even four glaciers, Ewig Schneefeld Glacier, Jungfrauwirn, and on the other side Alec Firn, Jungfrauwirn. And now all the stones, the rocks, the sand is coming down from these two mountains, for with the Glaciers on the mountain with avalanche, raining weather or falling rocks. And 
when they arrived on these two glaciers, the both glaciers moved this material to the middle of the mountain. And from there is going one line with all the stones until the end of these glaciers. And it doesn't matter how big are the rocks, all of them who's coming down from the mountain, they go with the glacier until the end. And now, after thinking about the glacier is like a very, very big frozen river. And this frozen ice river goes very slowly, day for day, against the valley. And in one day, about 60 centimeters. That means in one year, 180 until 200 meters. Sylvia, when we will make a break for one year here on this beautiful uh, rock, next year on this lake, we are nearly 200 meters more down without one step. All of the body from this glacier is floating down. And this year I heard that they found some some things on this glacier because it was melting so fast. That's, so what did they find? That's correct. Now every year, because it's very hot in the summer, less snow in the last winter, and so in some of the glaciers in Switzerland find them uh, many things. People, bone, and, and other uh, materials. For example, on this glacier, this summer, up on the Concordia Plus, one guide, a friend of me, he found an aeroplane. And this aeroplane is falling down 1968, near from the Jungfrau Joch. And then in the last year, from, 90, from 1968 until now, the glacier was transport this aeroplane under the ice about seven kilometers more down. And now the glacier is it's giving free this aeroplane, and so we find them. Uh, when I, when I uh, was flying with the drone, I saw this special thing with the stone on the glacier. Oh, yeah, what's about yeah, this? That's now a typical uh, glacier table. In the early summertime, there was a very big rock flat on the ice. And this rock, it's again a natural protection from the glacier. Under the stone is now sun on the ice. Around the stone, the glacier is melting still more and more. And the foot under the stone is still ice. And uh, during the summertime, not the table is going bigger, but the glaciers go deeper. And so that's building from this table. But this table is very, very special because this big table is standing on two feet. Yeah. Normally, there is only one feet under a rock and here are two. It's really beautiful to see. It's very, very special. <laughs> also for me, yeah. And under these two feet uh, is floating the glacier, the small glacier uh, uh, Greek or Bach, yeah, Greek, yeah, glacier Greek. You can feel Killian's connection to the mountains and the glacier. What seems to be an unknown icy structure for me is a kind of home for him. We hike back to the starting point. Again and again, I am amazed how Killian finds ways over the glacier gorge. For me, it is a huge ice labyrinth and I would probably never find the way back alone. After about three hours on the glacier, I have ground under my feet again. As a thank you for the safe glacier tour, we both throw another stone on the cairn above the glacier. Thank you, Killian, for your time and your knowledge which you have shared with us.